And we also create innovation. So in mobiles, for example, we have a concept of mobile number portability. So if I have a mobile number for supplier X, and supplier X, I'm not happy with them, I just have to go ahead and switch it to supplier Y, and I can retain my mobile number, so somebody can always call me, let me know that I moved my number from X to Y. So these are all well-established principles we have, but we don't really have them in the digital world. Why is it that we don't have them in the digital world? First is that the digital world has moved at enormous pace. All the developments of the digital world, including all the amazing companies and products and services have happened in the last 25 years. If you look at the original internet design, internet was designed through US government funding, it was designed and rolled out in the news for things like email and all kinds of things. And then the next big thing that happened with the internet was the development of the World Wide Web or the HTTP protocol, which was actually built in Europe, at CERN, in Switzerland, funded by all the European countries and put out as a digital public infrastructure way back in 1989. And then we had the next big development in the internet was the mosaic of this browser, which allowed you to go easily from site to site. That again was built at the University of Illinois Urbana Champaign, funded by the US Science Foundation, the US Science Foundation. So fundamentally, all those pieces of the infrastructure of the internet were built with public money. And then of course the private internet began with Netscape and then all the other companies came along. Now, but now they become such a big part of our lives. But we have to think that if digital is going to be so important to our lives, we have to think of the architecture of digital in our lives, just like we have done in the airlines, we have done in the mobile phones, we think of the digital. Same rules apply. And that is part of what we have done in India, which is called the notion of digital public infrastructure, which is thinking through the interactions of our society and creating protocols that can allow people to talk to each other digitally and therefore we can create inclusive markets, open markets, competitive markets, include people in the society. Vistara News. Nikara. Janapara.